Hi everyone. So today we're going to take a look at must have RV apps for 2020 for beginners. I know there's a lot of travel trailer apps out there, but these are the ones that I think you're going to want if you're an RV newbie. If you're looking for campgrounds near you or route planning and how to get there safely, this is if you have a fifth wheel travel trailer or a regular old drivable RV. Stay with me. You're not going to want to miss this. Welcome back. Uh, right before I show you these apps, I want to do a couple things. First of all, turns out YouTube says like 50% of my traffic is coming from outside the US, which I think is awesome. So a couple things I'm doing is one, if you are watching this from outside the US, can you, can you put your country down in the comments? I'd like to actually see where all this traffic is coming from. And second, when I go through the apps, some of these apps are good in both the US and Canada. I'm trying to call those out in case I have some viewers up there in Canada. So stay tuned for that. Two, uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do and please click the notification icon. Trust me, YouTube also says that most people that are watching haven't subscribed yet. I would appreciate it. It helps me grow the channel and, and get to continue to share this content that I think is really valuable for, for people. And finally, if you haven't done so yet, feel free to send in some questions. If we use your questions in a video, I'll send you one of these. So these are my awesome stickers that you can slap on your travel trailer or whatever vehicle you have. And that said, not keeping you waiting any longer, let's go look at some apps. All right, guys, I'm really excited about showing this one to you. So this next one is called Reserve America. So let me pop it on the screen here and I'll log into it. So great thing about this app is that you can make reservations right through here on a number of these sites. There we go. Um, it remembers all the cool places that you've been to. So if you want to make sure that, you know, hey, I, I went to this place and it was great. Or, or, you know, this other place and I want to make sure I remember it so I can go back to that place in the future. It'll remember all of your past reservations. You can go in here and check this. I've had to pull up at a couple sites where I didn't have my reservation number and stuff. You can pull all of that up directly in this little app. Uh, let's go ahead and search for a couple sites and let's see what we find. So let's look around. Let's see, Cincinnati. There we go. So it's finding here's, let's look around, there's Cincinnati, USA. So here's pulling up a bunch of great campsites all around Cincinnati. Uh, let's look at Big Bone State Lick. Uh, all right, so we got, if you've never been here, by the way, this is a great campsite. I actually have a, a, a review that we did on this campsite that will be coming out later on the spring. Uh, you can actually see wild buffalo here. So you can get to see all these kind of pictures of what's going on at this particular campground. This is a, a great state park that has a lot of natural history at it as well. So I, you can check availability with this thing. And once you, if you find availability, let's go ahead and try to find something here. A little early. Let's go through there. So not only does it does it pop up with hey we have stuff available you can book directly online, but a lot of them will actually go ahead and have uh, the the site for you, a picture of the site, which is awesome. How to back into it. Um, there you go. So you know exactly what you're getting. If there's not you know you can tell if there's like some trees, so your slide out's not going to come out. Uh, you, this will help you figure all that stuff out. So this one's called Reserve America. It is only good here in the U.S. It hasn't. It is it is a U.S. based one. I think it w works with a lot of the state and federal parks. Uh, but stay with me because I have some. I have another Canadian one coming up too. So this next thing I'm going to show you isn't actually an app. It is an ebook. I'm going to pop it right there. So what this actually tells you is that, hey, there are thousands of locations where you can go dump your black tank when you need to. The reason I, I recommend buying this is it's downloadable to your phone, which means if you are in the hills of somewhere, you're in the mountains and you're not getting uh, data coverage, this all of a sudden it's downloaded. You got it. You don't have to worry about it. It covers a couple things. So not only where to go. Uh, to, to dump when you need to dump, but it also covers you for the US, Canada, and Australia. So any of our, our friends in, in those countries, take a look at this, it's worthwhile. This is an affiliate link. I do earn a tiny, tiny commission, but I actually use this product. So definitely go check it out. You'll thank me the one time you need it and you'll have it handy. So check it out. 
All right, so this next app I'm gonna show you has some cool features that I think you're gonna to wanna to see. This one's also good both in the US and in Canada. So stick around, I'll show you some of that. It's called Park Advisor. So cool thing about Park Advisor is it's very easy to use, very Google Map-esque, you know, -esque. Uh, very similar from that standpoint, just like some of the other beginner apps that we've looked at. But if you click down in the lower left-hand corner into the settings section, it has all of these other things that you can search for or filter out. So if you know you're not, if you're like me and you're traveling with kids, I'm going to uncheck the 55 plus campgrounds, right? Those just aren't for us. They're great. Not what I'm looking for. I don't want to try to pull in there and then make everybody mad, right? So if I want to definitely look for, say, my world Jellystones and KOAs and RV parks, you know, it'll come back here and it will, it will let you search for just those specifically, which I find to be way more useful. Uh, everything national parks are in here, state parks. Uh, the other advantage is it'll also show you things like Walmarts and Costco's and Sam's wherever you're at. So that way you can zoom in on those type of things. Uh, Bass Pro Shop, if you need to run out and get some gear, you can find the closest one to you. And of course, uh, gas stations, and particularly a lot of these are like truck gas stations. So if you've got a big rig that you got to get in here, this will help you uh, guide you along the way. So in addition to this, when you do find a place that you want to go to, this will give you directions and it will map out those those gas stations and stuff along the way. So if you need to swing by Walmart before you pull into your site, it'll help you find one if you, that's what you need. So check this one out. It's Park Advisor, U.S. and Canada. It's awesome. All right, guys. This next thing I'm going to show you is another ebook, and I really recommend it. This is a little different in the sense of this is not just an app to help you find different campsites. This one is called a mountain directory and it's for, for truckers or RVs. And what they do with this is it helps you get through the mountains safely. So if you're doing a long road trip and you're crossing the Smoky Mountains, you're crossing uh, the Rocky Mountains, I highly recommend getting one of these. Again, like the other ebook, this is a downloadable thing, right? So it helps you from that standpoint. That way, you know, you may be using Google Maps or Waze or something to get to where you're going, but this is downloadable. You may lose coverage up in the hills. And this has very detailed instructions on how to get to where you, you're going, along with the kind of obstacles and challenges you're going to face. Uh, when you go to the site, check it out. The links are in my, my video description. It'll show you there's things like, hey, where the, the truck ramps are coming, you know, if you're a runaway truck or runaway RV, you know, how spaced out are they? What kind of descents are you expected to face? You know, you may pick different paths depending on what you what you think you're facing, and depending on the weather. Uh, if you've got, you know, I, I myself have to watch weather with my travel trailer. So they sell this as a West Coast East Coast version. So there's one for the East Coast, one for the West Coast, and then they do sell one that's cheaper if you buy both. Uh, if you're like an over the road trucker, but. Go check out this link. It'll be worthwhile. It's this is better. One of those things. It's better to have it and not need it than all of a sudden you're you're white knuckle driving. You've got your your family and everybody in this this truck and you're trying to get through these mountains and you're terrified. Check this out. It'll it'll help you. All right. So this next one I'm going to show you here. This one is called Truck Map GPS. The reason I really really like this one is because it does a couple things for you. One, it gives you driving directions, just like a lot of Google Map uh, enabled things. Uh, where you just type in particular directions that you're looking for, but you can also search for types of places that are in here or cities. So down here, you can search for different types of, of things that you need. And then the part that I really, really like about this, particularly if you have a big rig or you, you have a good size fifth wheel, uh, you need to look for low overpasses. So I've run into this a couple times. Like I've been plenty clear, but like when you're coming up to them and like, you're like, am I going to fit? So what this has for you is not when you come into the, the menu on the side there, you can click on the settings and you can list the truck height. So the advantage of doing that is that you, this particular one will route you around those occasional low hanging, you know, like a railroad track or something that happens to hang pretty low. This will help route you around that. And depending on where you're camping, that may be really, really necessary for you. We've had to take some long ways around to get through a couple things. Uh, or to avoid cities and, and areas that I thought would be a little uncomfortable to take the, the, the camper through. So truck map GPS, go check it out. Uh, again, I'm on Android, so this one I believe is only available in the U.S. right now. All right, so that was six 
app slash ebooks, whatever you want to call them, that I think are super valuable to the in 2020 for, for RV beginners. If you made it this far in the video, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Hopefully you found some value in this video. Also go check out my channel or some of these other videos that will pop up on the screen. There's a whole bunch of equipment reviews. We got some campground reviews that are coming out uh, as the weather gets a little warmer. Hope to see you later. Thank you everybody.